So today we're going to look at rendering a floor plan in Photoshop within 30 minutes or less and I'm definitely focused in on the less today. So first of all make sure you have your floor plan. So I'm going to place embedded and place this PDF of a floor plan. So it's there and this is what we're going to work with when we are rendering. So to render we're just going to add some textures and color and some various um, kind of lighting effects just to give it a little bit more life where it's fit for a presentation. So first things first let's do the flooring. So I'm going to do a new layer and what we're actually going to do is go back to the old floor plan layer then we're going to use the magic wand and we're going to select areas that we know are going to need a flooring texture in order for them to look correct so what I'm going to do is select this and now I'm actually going to use the marquee tool and deselect so holding down the alt key and so we're just kind of here and there's going to be rugs here um, in this. Actually, you picked that up from the original drawing, so that's good. And I think all that's good. Let's go back to the magic wand. And you know what? I'm going to leave that here, and then we're going to see what needs to be filled in some more. So going back to this new layer I've made, I'm then going to take just kind of a random color and with the paint bucket tool we're going to fill that area so now we can really see where it needs to have more flooring versus where it's actually fine that there's no flooring and particularly i think the issue is we want to add some flooring in this utility room and we want to add flooring in where any of these kind of cupboard door swings are so i'm going to go back to this floor plan layer press w for the magic wand and we're just going to hold down the shift key and select all of these various areas that will need some flooring. And now we go back to this floor layer, paint bucket tool, and let's fill these shapes in. And with that, I think we're good. Now, Obviously, we're not proposing this bright kind of corally red flooring. We're going to actually put in a wood flooring, but the quickest way to do that is actually I see a spot that needs to be filled. So let me wand there and then paint bucket there. So to make this into a wood flooring, what we're going to do is actually open up a seamless texture. So I've downloaded this from the SketchUp Texture Club, but you can really kind of find these textures all over the internet. Um, the SketchUp Texture Club is nice because they're royalty free. And this is going to be our wood flooring. So what I'm going to do is now that I've opened it up, press edit and define pattern. And I'm just going to say wood floor. Okay. Then we go back to this and to apply this as a wood floor all we have to do is right click oops, excuse me go on the fx with it selected pattern overlay and right now we're going to choose the pattern that we just made which is this one right here that wood flooring now it's obviously really big and we actually were wanting to propose it at a running at a 45 throughout the entire space so what i'm going to do is bump it down Let's angle it. And actually, I want to angle it the other way. So let's do 135. Mm. Yeah, this way. Minus 45. Perfect. And I think all of that looks fine. So, okay. And basically, really quickly, by just kind of using a magic wand and a paint bucket tool, we've been able to apply this wood texture throughout the entire space. Now, I'm going to do the same thing over here for the worktops, 
And we're going to do some more in terms of the benches as well as some of these kind of cushions, uh, poofs and cushions. All right, so now that we have all of our kind of materials applied to these areas, I'm going to go ahead and place in a rug here and then a rug here. So place embedded. All right, so now I'm actually going to create a, another layer where we're just going to fill in some color in some of these locations that just need a little bit more. Um, Alright, so now that we have all of these kind of textures applied, we are at 19 minutes and let's go ahead and add a few more effects and then we can actually be done. So first things first, I'm going to go to the floor layer and what I'm going to do here is actually add in a inner shadow. So we can preview it just get an idea of what it looks like. So right now it's quite faint. There, it's a little bit bigger now. And it's kind of not at the most logical angle either, considering there's windows over here. But we can start to see there's a nice shadow. Now I'm going to go ahead and fix some of this on the door because we don't want that to show. 
but really we're giving ourselves a little bit more depth in these particular kind of areas and making sure everything shows correctly and let's just bump down the opacity a little and yeah I think that's perfect so now I'm gonna add a few more kind of effects so let's go to the countertop and this time we're gonna add a bevel and emboss and just so slightly just so it starts to look a little bit more three-dimensional and perfect so now what I'm gonna do just to wrap up this drawing I'm gonna go ahead and group all of these things and let's duplicate it so we want to give ourselves the option to kind of revisit these layers but I'm actually gonna merge this duplicate group and then gonna use the dodge and burn tool so the dodge tool first just to add a few highlights on some cushions and on tables so let's make it a little bit bigger now we know in our design maybe we're gonna have some spotlights here and just adding and now let's go to the burn tool and we can add a few low lights go back to the dodge tool just add a few more highlights and suddenly we have a much more vivid design being presented. Now we can always play around with some things kind of as the overall so maybe we want to adjust the brightness, bump up the contrast, maybe just make it a little bit lighter so it feels more like a drawing and really I think that might be it. I think the only other thing I might do is going back to the drawing itself let's add in a texture in or a color into the um, the wall so let's do a new layer and I'm not sure which color I want to use and something like that's fine and let's actually go back and make sure these inner walls perfect so well under 30 minutes we're able to go from this to this with just a few quick tools in Photoshop